Well, there have been several steps taken to deal with this ensuing crisis, Lauren. We understand that the Prosecutor General has ordered an immediate investigation into the matter. This, of course, is not the first time that the country witnessed this kind of violence since the revolution, but certainly the first time we see this kind of significant casualty toll. The Parliament session, the Parliament is also, the newly elected Parliament is also due to hold an emergency session on Thursday to discuss this kind of violence. And we understand that the Football, football Federation has also indefinitely delayed the Premier League and all other soccer games in the country, Lauren. Uh, and Raya, explain to us uh, the situation with the, the policing of these matches. Has it been fairly hands-off lately? Absolutely. The security forces have been uh, pretty much withdrawn from the streets since the revolution as a result of the violent confrontation uh, that backfired during the 18-day revolt and how the security forces have been uh, completely accused of this kind of violence that has resulted in them basically uh, not getting involved in any kind of action, including when violence ensued. We've seen pictures on different TV stations of riot police during this game uh, basically standing by, not trying to stop the violence and other pictures of them actually running away in the other direction as the soccer fans invaded the pitch line. And Raya, just remind us of the, the kind of rivalry between the two uh, teams involved here. Certainly, what the capital, what the country was witnessing, it was witnessing two very important soccer games in the Premier League between uh, Al Ahli and Al Masri. Al Ahli is probably, arguably, the most uh, popular team in the country versus Al Masri in Port Said. It was on their home turf, and despite the fact that they were winning by three points, they still they still managed to overrun the pitch and attack the supporters of the other team. So, just to give you an idea, what the situation would have been like had they actually lost the game. And Cairo, also another important game between the Malik and Ismaili, the two uh, are the second most popular teams in the Premier League. Uh, there too, the game was suspended after the violence in Port Said, and we've seen the soccer supporters there, the fans there, setting the stadium on fire.